Hey guys, welcome back to yet an amazing video in our channel. So, if you are following me on Instagram, you would have seen these kind of crazy videos that I post on my Instagram account. These are called as stop motions. In this video, we are going to see how to take a perfect stop motion with your smartphone or DSLR. That doesn't matter. How to take a stop motion? That's what we are going to see in today's video. So yes, guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Cario from India. We talk photography, filmmaking, editing, and many other social media stuffs that help creators like us. Yes guys, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Stop motion is a video technique where you can make the impossible possible. So you can make an apple rotate itself and it's joined by a masambi and a pomegranate and they all move as a train. Everything can be done with the help of this stop motion technique. So before going into stop motion, I'll just convey a few things that let you know how a stop motion video actually works. Generally, for every video, we have a minimum of 24 frames. That is, per second, you will have 24 photos within a video. That's how a video works. Stop motions generally don't have 24 frames per second. That is, they don't have 24 photos in a second. They have maximum of 12 or 14. That's all a wish based on the need. So that's one thing that you need to have in mind while taking stop motion video. How many photos in a second? The next thing is having a fixed frame for your stop motion videos. So there must not be any shakes on the frame. So here I have connected my mobile on a tripod and this is the frame for the video. I have a backdrop and some few blocks to create the video. And this tripod has actually been balanced with the help of some counterweight at the back to just maintain the stability. So here if I touch the mobile screen you obviously get some shakes. So I am just going to use a remote to capture the images. Let's see how to shoot this stop motion by the end of the video. The next main thing is lighting and shadows. So if you see this video clearly, you could see like there are many shadows falling towards the left side of the video. This is because I missed to notice that the lighting is changing. So I didn't want to rectify it because if I show my mistakes, you would probably rectify it when you do it. So this is an example of good lighting condition where I had used artificial lights and that there are no shadows falling or change of lighting hence we could see high quality stop motion video so the next main thing is just visualize or imagine the video that you are going to shoot so here i have a block and one safety pin i would just imagine like how the video is going to turn out before shooting it so that i don't do much mistakes when i shoot the video now let's see how to shoot the stop motion video so here we are going to try it first in a smartphone for that we need to install an app called the stop motion studio so this is one best app that i would suggest to capture stop motion videos so just go ahead and install this app and let's see how this app is going to help us to capture the stop motion videos so this is the ui of the app so just click on the new movie option at the top left corner so this is how it looks like we can capture images one by one so here I have a black backdrop with some um, wooden blocks. So I have visualized like how the video is going to turn out. It's kind of a simple game that I used to play in my childhood. So I'm just going to try to recreate that game with the help of a stop motion technique. So let's see some of the options available. I'm just clicking on the settings button and here you have options to change the frame of the video. It, it can be 16 to 9 or 4 to 3 whatever it is based on your requirement. The next option is speed which is actually frames per second. I said already right. It can go up to 30 frames per second but above 24 anything would look like a normal video. So here I'm just going with 6 or 12 frames per second. 
this is a transition option that's available uh, for stop motions i won't suggest transition so just select none and these are some um, fx options that's not required and here are some filter options these are also not required and yes most of them are paid so let's ignore that next we have the resolution option so here hd is only free if you want 4k you need to buy the app the last option is playback here you can go with here you can go only with the loop playback it will be helpful while shooting the video so now let's see how to capture the images now if you have already captured the images and you just searching some app to just combine them all you can use this plus button import the images and just combine them all else you can go to click on this camera button at the top right corner it will open the camera view where you can capture the images here i am using a remote to capture the images so that i am not shaking my camera setup that's my phone so just to maintain the frame throughout the video we can just come back and delete those uh, unwanted clips also by clicking on the undo button on the right corner so this is the remote from mi i'm just going to use you can also use your headset just connect your headphones to the mobile and just click on the button it will take the image now i am simply just moving the safety pin inch by inch and taking image so if you see for every movement i am taking one image this app is going to combine them all so in case you do any mistake on the image you can just delete it by just going back and clicking on the undo button in the left corner you'll have an option or slider to adjust the opacity of the image so if you just reduce it a little bit you can see the previous image also visible so this will be helpful while just capturing your images to maintain that flow on your stop motion video so as i move my previous image is slightly visible and the new image is also slightly visible so guys if you don't want to capture this uh, in your mobile you have the images in your dslr then you can also import the images directly to the app and just combine them with the help of the stop motion studio app now let's complete this video and let's see how this video ends i'm just simply moving and taking images continuously so yes we have completed taking the images if you just slide over in this timeline it actually looks like a video right yes guys that's that simple so yes guys we have captured the stop motion so now let's see how we can export this just go back and select that project and at the top left corner you will have an option to share just click on that and select export movie so within few minutes you would get the images exported as a video that's it guys you can just give a name and save it and you would have the cool stop motion ready in your smartphone so here is another example where a paper crushes itself and opens with a text inside how is that possible that's possible with the help of stop motion video so simple i am just having a paper plain paper placed on a black backdrop i'm just going to crush it frame by frame and take every image so let's see how we can do that i'm just capturing the image of the empty paper first and slightly crushing at the corners taking the second image and crushing it more taking the third image and crushing it more taking the fourth image and that goes on so once it's crushed fully i'm just opening the paper and i'm just going to write whatever text is needed inside the paper so yes guys don't forget to subscribe subscribe yes once it's done i'm just going to crush it once again and just place on the same place where it was actually there this opacity bar is helping me with this so that i am just placing it on the perfect location so now i am just going to open the paper and take the images that's what i am doing here so this is our final video so next this is a vertical video of stop motion it's not required that you can take only top down videos you can go ahead with any frame so to fix your mobile you can use these kind of uh, switch pods or gorilla pods or 
a simple diy is just use a cloth clip or what do you say that yes that's a clip and it will just give a stable frame for your mobile or if you want to capture vertical videos just take a container like this it's quite uh, tall that's why i have filled it with some paper and i have just kept my mobile inside that i'm just going to use my remote to capture the images i'm just simply changing every single frame and capturing the video so basically stop motion is where you take an image move the subject take an next image move the subject take the third image keep moving the subjects take your images combine them all and make it as a video that's how stop motion works you can be crazily creative in creating stop motion videos crazily creative i think i would invent words okay you can create crazy videos with stop motion like you can just go and search in instagram as hashtag stop motion that will be like unbelievable videos that just pops out on instagram just go check out guys so yes guys stop motion can be made with dslr cameras too you just need to take the images and combine them as a video in smartphone same stop motion studio app can be used to combine those images or if you want to edit in pc you can go ahead with premiere pro or fcp any editing software so i hope this video was really helpful if yes do hit that like button and let me know in comments what more videos you want from me so that's it all about this video guys we'll meet in another video that's the cooker whistle for you you have a rice cooker and uh, you have a whistle over that it will sound when pressure is inside uh, the cooker is very high right that's behind me i don't know how to manage these seconds so i'm just talking about yeah 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 now back to the video that's it for this video guys we'll meet in another video until then it's your carrier signing off